Today I'm going to show you how to make an edible magnifying glass. It takes a few easy steps and some patience and you can start with the fun. To begin, all you need is a convex shape, some Knox gelatin, and some water. Now, I found that using a soup ladle works best because it gives you the nice depth that you need for magnification. I did try using this on a smaller convex shape and I got this size and it didn't work quite as well. As you can see, if you compare, one magnifies better than the other. Now this one, if you compare the textures, this gelatinous one was used with a, um, a smaller ratio of Knox gelatin to water. So I increased the ratio and I got a firmer grip, which is important if you don't want things to fall apart because it is gelatin based and with the heat of your hand you can start melting it. So let's begin. To start, add three tablespoons of water to a microwave safe cup or bowl. I'm using a silicone measuring cup and you're going to sprinkle one packet of Nox to this. The reason we sprinkle the gelatin into water is to give it a chance to bloom. It's a very important step when you're working with gelatin. So just carefully sprinkle it. Try not to pour too much too quickly because if it clumps then it won't absorb water as readily and that's exactly what we want it to do. So just a steady motion, pouring the gelatin into the water. Okay, so once you're done with this step, you're going to let this gelatin sit here for two minutes and then you're going to place it in the microwave in intervals of 10 seconds until the gelatin has completely dissolved. So I went ahead and did that already for you. So while this sits, I can show you that. So once you melt the gelatin, it always forms a layer up, up on the top, which I always remove for clarity. Okay. And if you see little air bubbles, try to catch them so that it doesn't pour into your mixture. Just scoop them out. Okay. It's important not to mix the gelatin because that'll just create more air bubbles. Okay, so that's the best I can do. So I'll stop there. And now you're going to put your soup ladle in a cup like this so that it could be held securely. And you're going to very gently pour. You don't want to create more air bubbles. A lot of recipes ask you to oil the ladle or whatever it is you're using. But I found that if you do that, then the oil sticks to the gelatin and it creates a murky surface. So now you're going to insert this in the refrigerator for about 20 to 25 minutes, depending on how cold your refrigerator is. And once it's firm, we're going to remove it. Okay, so my ladle has been in the refrigerator for longer than 20 minutes because I actually filled it up pretty high. So the deeper it is, the longer it's going to take to firm. But as you can see, it's pretty firm since so nothing's falling out. Now, to grab it, it's preferable if you could wear a glove. See, I touched it already with my finger. You could actually see my finger mark and proper lighting there. So just push over the sides. And the longer you let this sit in the refrigerator, the better. I took it out a little prematurely. And... There is your beautiful, beautiful shape. You can see the depth of it. So now let's test it. Let's grab the book. And you can see how well it works. If you use flavored gelatin, it'll also work. 
but the color will obviously get in the way of reading. Um, but if you flavor it, you could eat it. Have fun with your experimenting. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments below or you could email me. Thank you.